Here at the San Diego Comic Con with Paul Dini. How you doing, Paul? Good, Ron. How about yourself? You having a good show? I'm hanging in. I'm hanging in. It's a little rough. Yeah, I, I hear nobody from New York is flying out tonight because no. apparently there's uh, like a glacier in Manhattan or an ice storm or yeah. or a snowstorm or earthquake or something yeah, like that. Yeah, so. it's, it's, it's rough getting out of San Diego this year. So you got to stay and enjoy the beach and yeah. the zoo and drink some margaritas. Darn, the West Coast living that you're so used to, right? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> pretty much. So, so, um, so you've, been, you've been here at the convention. You've been here at your booth. You've, we've seen you run around the floor. What do you, what, what do you got going on? Well, I'm, uh, I, I just uh, started a venture with a, with a cool company called GoAnimate.com, yeah. and what they're doing is they've licensed characters like Family Guy, American Dad, and then classic characters like Mr. Magoo and Underdog, and what you can do is go on their site and play with their characters and animate them and create new adventures with these uh, new and classic characters, make your own cartoons, upload sound effects, music, and you, it's really like a, a homemade animation studio. And what I'm excited about is uh, they came to us and they, uh, my wife Misty Lee and I, and they said, we actually would like to create some new stuff for the site. And we know you're a you know, prominent animation creator. We would love to get some of your characters. Will you come on the site and create some new content for us? So we sat down, we created um, a cartoon series out of, a, out of some live action shorts that had been running on uh, Kevin Smith's uh, uh, quickstopentertainment.com which were live action puppet shows with a, with a creature called Rashi. Little Rashi, a really obnoxious sock monkey. Yep, I'm a big fan of Rashi. Yes, yep. yes, and, and Rashi's <laughs> been an iFanboy several years running. So we took Rashi and his nicer brother, Superica, and we are now doing 20 shorts with them, which put them in new adventures, uh, either around the house where they're causing trouble, or else, because it's GoAnimate, they can interact with other cartoon characters or celebrity, caricatured celebrities. So they're just kind of running wild in, in every cartoon they show up in, whether it's it's a, uh, a cartoon just about themselves or if they decide to drop in the White House and uh, punch President Bush in the eye and uh, other places. <laughs> and so uh, that, that's, that's been a lot of fun. So we've been promoting that. I'm also promoting a deal uh, I have in the works with Top Cow where I'm going to be back uh, creating more Madame Mirage comics next year. Also, uh, uh, some humor books under, the, uh, uh, under a new logo called uh, Dini Cartoons, awesome. which will feature more of my original creations. Uh, I'm bringing Jingle Bell over. That's we're, we're kicking that off in a big way. It's kind of like a Christmas meets Halloween uh, book called uh, Santa Claus versus uh, Frankenstein. That's gonna be a Top Cow, right? Top Cow, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. excellent. <laughs> yeah, very cool. So that'll that'll be a lot of fun, and of course DC with Batman uh, with uh, Detective Comics. Yeah. A lot of surprises coming up there as we uh, head into fall, as I wrap up a uh, storyline involving Batman in a fight to the death with Hush. Ooh, very cool. So has been working with the Batman RIP thing been a challenge, or is that fitting into your kind of plan? Or? Well, you know, RIP, uh, the way that we, we explain that is it's kind of thematically fitting into what's happening with Batman. In the Batman books, Grant is, is subjecting Batman to some of the worst tests he can imagine. Uh, we're kind of doing that in Detective, whereas the stories don't really dovetail. Yeah. They're happening around the same time. I personally think that my part of, of that story is taking place on two or three really bad nights before Grant's action really kicks in. So cool. what you're reading with Detective, if you were being a, a real continuity stickler, takes place slightly before things he, are heating up with Batman in Grant's book. Cool. So once that take knocks the winds out of his sail, then you know, then you can finish up the story with R.I.P. Yeah, very cool, very yeah. cool. Well, thanks for your time. We appreciate it as always. Thank it's always good to see you in San Diego. And be sure to go to ifanboy.com where you can read Paul's wonderful 200 words column every Thursday. Absolutely, that's the other. That's the other big thing. Yeah, yeah. I meant to write a. Uh, I meant to write a, 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 a column from the floor. I thought that would be great. I'll set up at the booth and then just write what occurs to me. And it's like. Are, are you insane? That never <laughs> happens. You can't do anything except walk around and fight like a salmon upstream to try and get to, <laughs> get uh, you, you know, buy one comic and then you're thrown out. <laughs> so, uh, so, but yeah, so we'll be looking forward to future columns from you. And right? you can get that at ifanboy.com and make sure you go to revision3.com forward slash ifanboy to check out all our videos about comic books. Wonderful. Thanks. Bye, guys.